On December 1st, we commemorate World AIDS Day to raise awareness around HIV and to remember and honor those who have died of AIDS-related illnesses. The theme for this year is Communities Make a Difference. For transgender people, the risk of acquiring HIV is 12 times higher. Las cosas que más afectan a las mujeres trans en mi región, eh, en este caso, es el SIDA, ¿no? Muchas compañeras mueren constantemente. Due to poverty, due to lack of education, sex work, and living in slums and poor conditions, the trans population is the highest at risk and most vulnerable to TB, malaria, and HIV. In specific uh, issue about HIV, they are clearly the most affected stakeholder and therefore have to be a part of the response. Without uh, involvement in HIV, there is no way that this epidemic can be controlled. Si más personas con la capacidad de tomar decisiones conocieran el lado humano de nosotras, nos ayudarían de una manera mucho más grande y no solamente viéndonos como números o como estadística. Historically, trans men have been excluded from the HIV response. Trans men who have sex with men and trans men who do sex work are particularly vulnerable to HIV. Nosotros los hombres trans somos diversos y por la falta de programas dirigidos a nuestra comunidad somos totalmente invisibles. El no conocernos no hace vulnerable y es una alma letal. Yo creo que sí es importante este el trabajo con hombres trans y el VIH. Hombres trans también podemos tener SIDA, VIH y nos enfocan en ese tema y sería muy importante que también se visibilice este el VIH en hombres trans para también poder prevenir. As a trans masculine, I know that me and my friend can have a relationship with a cis man or gay man, so we also can be considered ourselves as a key affected population, so we should be included. Hay mucha falta de información sobre VIH y hombres trans. Es el momento de, de tomar este tema para prevenir que esto se pueda convertir en, en un problema grave ¿no? en, en nuestra población. Across the world, trans people are delivering essential HIV services, often in very dangerous situations. Como organizaciones trans, no hemos a veces tenido mucho apoyo sobre los fondos para que lleguen a nosotras para nosotros trabajar con nuestra comunidad. There are certain needs that need to be addressed within the trans community. The barriers and challenges that they meet are far more severe and critical than what the other communities have experienced. So they too need the support, if not more so. There is no way that you can actually do development or take um, control of an epidemic unless the people who are actually affected by it actually take the ownership of it. It's important to have trans people being involved in, in the HIV work so that we can also be equipped with the knowledge to prevent the spread and mortality rate of HIV. Not better to fund than the people in the community. Communities have always made a difference since the beginning of the epidemic striving for better services, better medication, and leading the response globally. It is important that within our community, we raise awareness and as a community, make a difference.